Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. So today for One That Got Away, I come to you with the best picture of 2014. And that, of course, is the Alejandro and Yuritu-directed film Birdman, or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. It is the story of a washed-up action comic book film star, Riggan Thompson, who played this iconic character known as Birdman, but now he feels that he needs to truly show the world that he is not just a guy in a flashy costume in a bunch of movies with great special effects. He wants to prove that he is a true artist, and he does so by trying to create a Broadway show. This movie is definitely one of the most talked about. It was a movie that I knew about. Ironically, when I first heard that it was coming out, I thought that it was going to be Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law. Boy, was I wrong. But I definitely wanted to make sure, after it skipped theaters, and more importantly, after it won Best Picture, that I did make an effort to see it, and I have. This movie is definitely one of the better films that came out in 2014. I totally understand what everybody is talking about. It is a brilliantly shot movie. I love the long shots and the one-shot deals that Inuritu did to really make it feel as if you were following along with the cast throughout the film. The acting is top-notch. Michael Keaton totally deserved the Oscar nod for it. He definitely blew my mind in this movie because I am not gonna lie, I am not one of his biggest fans, but I definitely enjoyed him in this movie. The rest of the cast is fantastic as well. Naomi Watts is great. This is definitely one of Emma Stone's greatest performances. I loved her as Sam, who played Riggins' daughter in the movie. Edward Norton is always phenomenal, but the one guy who really impressed me and came out of freaking nowhere, and now I actually have a shred of respect for him, is Zach Galifianakis. When he's not playing the troubled bearded man-child, he really can act, and he wasn't even the funniest one in this movie. He actually played a very powerful and serious role. Zach Galifianakis, I am truly impressed, and if you can make a few more movies with this kind of a role, maybe I will actually consider you one of my favorite actors. I also really liked the soundtrack in this movie. It gave off a real beatnik 1950s vibe. There were points in time where I just wanted to snap my fingers numerous times after I heard a whole string of dialogue between certain characters. As a whole, the movie is definitely engaging. It's definitely something original from a filmmaking perspective, which is why I understand it got all of those awards and, of course, the Best Picture Oscar. But is this truly the best movie of 2014? To the whole consensus, I would agree, but for me personally, no. Because there were certain parts of the movie where I kind of felt it drag, and there were just parts of the movie that I just didn't think were necessary. The whole concept of him having these delusions with superpowers and hearing the voices of the original action star of Birdman that he portrayed in a past life, I don't really think that it added to the movie. I definitely understood what the message was in regards to that specific sequence of shots, but it was just something that I didn't understand that had to be there. I mean, were they just trying to show us what the past life was for Regan Thompson? Or were they just trying to make you wonder why? Or just make you see something truly amazing and astounding? I don't know, and I never will know unless I ask Mr. Inuritu myself. But again, I understand why people love this movie. It's a good movie, I'm not gonna lie. It's not a movie that I'm gonna want to see again, though, but it will definitely be a movie that I will suggest to others. Is it, in fact, one of my top five from 2014 now that I have to reevaluate it? Nope. I think that now that I have officially replaced Captain America the Winter Soldier with Whiplash and Gone Girl is still the best movie that I saw in 2014, I'm going to stick with it. If I'm going to look at my top 10, I would probably have put Birdman at number 6. So, I know that a lot of you are looking forward to hearing my thoughts on this movie, so now you have. I'm going to give Birdman 3.5 out of 4. I definitely think it's an excellent one-time watch. Definitely one of the movies that stands out amongst others. One one that is destined to become a classic for many, and one that will definitely stand the test of time. So I appreciate the fact that you guys came to watch today. Feel free to put your comments in the box below, and let's have a discussion. I know some of you are very eager to do so, and I'll see you in the next one. Actions speak louder than words.